Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, Fios One News, Smith Point Park in Suffolk County on the eastern on the easternmost end of Fire Island. And you can see how the ocean is really getting angry here this, uh, uh, this morning. Uh, waves uh, kicking up. Uh, there have been some uh, really high s uh, swells. I, I've noticed some 10 and 12 foot swells uh, beyond uh, the waves that are breaking near the shore. And uh, these waves near the shore, uh, every bit of 6 to 8 feet coming in and maybe even a few 10 footers. There's a, a, a big one right there. Uh, crashing into the beaches. Um, the big issue from this is going to be coastal flooding, uh, not from the high tide uh, during uh, the early part of the day, but for the high tides that are coming uh, late this evening and again on uh, Monday. I think the Monday high tide uh, is the high tide that you're really going to have to uh, worry about uh, with regards to uh, coastal flooding. Uh, we, uh, at least from, from the standpoint of, of weather, Rain is the least, uh, the lowest issue on the priority scale. Uh, they'll, uh, in fact, there probably won't be very much rain at all uh, just inland of the, of the coast, and even the rain at the coastline may not amount to too much. Uh, wind, uh, gales at the coast uh, for a number of hours. Uh, there might be some gusts uh, right along the beaches to 40 or 50 miles an hour as you go east, uh, but uh, as soon as you work your way inland, I think winds are not gonna be a big deal at all. And again, coastal flooding, uh, the biggest, biggest issue. Uh, few people are on the beach, to, but swimming is, uh, there's no swimming. Uh, the beaches are closed to swimmers for obvious reasons uh, with these uh, huge waves and uh, tremendous, uh, what is like, there's a really big wave coming in now. Whoa. <laughs> Had to back up a little bit for this one. So any, anyway, be safe, have a great day, and of course stay tuned to Fios One News for all the latest on the developing weather and coastal flooding situation with Hermine.